This is from Dynamics book in a Southern Polytechnic, the Hibbler books, 11th edition, 12-138, it's on page 71. The equation says the slotted fork is rotating about O at a constant rate of theta dot equals the three radians per second. So we'll write that down. Under the theta dot place, make a little graph looking thing here. Determine the radial and transverse components of the velocity and acceleration of the pin at A at the instant theta equals 360 degrees. We do pi radians here, so we'll put that as 2 pi radian. The path is defined by the spiral groove R equals 5 plus theta over pi. 5 plus theta over pi inches where, pi, where theta is in radians. Theta dot we get 3 radians. R is 5 plus theta over pi. And we see as it goes around the spiral that it's going to end up being 2 pi radians which is a whole 360 degrees. You take the derivative of this with respect to time of the theta dot and you get 0. That means there's no acceleration in here at all in the theta direction. We also get r dot, r dot, derivative of 5 plus theta over pi. 5 goes away. Derivative of theta over pi is 1 over pi. Theta dot. <coughs> Do the same thing again. We get 1 over pi. Theta double dot. Okay. Now we got to find the the radial and transverse components of velocity and acceleration. So velocity in the radial transmission is equal to r dot. r dot equals 1 over pi theta dot. Substitute in theta dot times 3. We get 1 over pi times 3. 0. 955 five, and that is in because of this little inch here inches per second you got to put the little radial unit vector in here too that's the radial for velocity transverse to or tangential tangential r theta dot equals VT. Substitute that in. You get 5 plus substituting the theta, which is 2 pi and up here, over pi times theta dot, which is 3. Pi's go away. 5 plus 2 is 7 times 3 is 21 inches per second. Don't forget to put the unit vector for the tangential. Do the same thing for radial acceleration. Radial acceleration equals r double dot minus r theta dot squared. Substitute that in. You get 1 over pi 1 over pi theta double dot, substitute that in at 0, times 0. That cancels out equaling 0. Minus r, which is 5 plus theta over pi. 5 plus theta, which is 2 pi. Once again. Times theta dot squared, which is 3 squared. So, pi's cancel out, 7 times 9, 7 times 9 is 49, Five plus that, plus 2 times 9, 63. And that is also in inches per second squared in the radial direction.
going on to page two. Tangential acceleration equals r theta dot plus two r dot theta dot. Okay, substitute that in. You get five plus two pi once again over pi times theta dot, which is three radians per second plus 2 times r dot, which is 1 over pi, times 1 over pi times theta dot, theta dot is 3, times theta dot, which is 3, once again. Multiply this out, you end up getting, pi's cancel out, that goes to 7 times 3, that's 21 plus 9 times 2 is 18, 18 over pi. 5.73. So your final answer is 26.73 inches per second squared in the tangential unit vector direction. So there you have it. You have all four. You end up getting the velocity is 0.955 inches per second in the radial, 21 inches per second in the tangential. You also get 63 inches per second in the radial and acceleration. Also 26.73 inches per second squared tangential acceleration. There you have it. There's all four of your answers.